Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Callum X and today we're going to be looking at how you can broadcast your gaming PC over the network to your streaming PC so that you don't need a capture card and you can also still play your games at 144 frames a second without that limit you get from using a capture card. Let's get straight into it. So the first thing you need to do is head over to newtech.com. The link will be down in the description. You want to download their NDI tools. Click on the NDI button, go to NDI tools. Scroll down, get NDI new tech tools, download that. Once you've downloaded it, install it. Do this on both. You need to do it on your streaming PC and on your gaming PC. This is important once again. Then you're gonna find another link in the description below for the open broadcasting software plugin. For NDI. You want to again install this on both. Install it on your game PC, install it on your streaming PC. Don't know if I already mentioned this, but this is really important. You need OBS installed on both, okay? Install OBS on your gaming PC as well. Once you've installed NDI tools and the OBS plugin on both your gaming PC and your streaming PC, now the fun part happens. So if you open OBS on the gaming PC, like you can see above you, above me, click tools and now you've got this extra setting called MDI output settings. Click on that, tick the main output button. I'll move it over here so it's a little bit more clear. Click the main output button and name it whatever the name of the PC is. So in this case, it's gonna be gaming PC. Click OK. Then you just want one scene because the idea for this is that you don't have to bog down your gaming PC. So you just want one scene and in that scene, add a display capture or a game capture so that you can capture what you want to stream using the OBS on your gaming PC. Once that's sorted, head over to your streaming PC. So on the streaming PC, you're now gonna have an option for an extra source. Click the plus button and you will see NDI source. So you add one of those, click add source. So now if I launch a game, so let's go into Apex Legends. There it is, playing Apex Legends. Haven't got a capture card plugged in and I can now play it without any caps on my frame rate. I can play it at 144 Hertz. 144 frames a second, 250 frames a second, whatever you want. It's not going to make a difference and you're not going to be limited by that frame rate limit on your capture card. Fantastic. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Be sure to share it with anyone who you think might be interested or benefit from it. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell next to it as well so that you know next time I produce a video the aim is to produce a lot more of these feel free to let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would like a tutorial on and of course you can check out my other video on how to share your audio devices using voice meter between your gaming pc and your streaming pc as well and of course don't forget to drop me a follow on twitch twitch.tv forward slash callum x games so guys Hope you have a fantastic day, evening, morning, night, whatever time of day it is for you. Enjoy it. Let me know how you get on. Take care and have a good day.